welcome back students to the part 3 of today's session in the last two modules we have discussed about the measurement of very large distances and also the measurement of very small distances in this session let us discuss about the range of lengths at the back side of your part 1 physics textbook you can see various prefixes which are added in order to represent the unit of a physical quantity we add the prefix giga for the factor 10 raised to 9 mega for 10 raised to 6 kilo for 10 raised to 3 deci for 10 raised to minus 1 centi for 10 raised to minus 2 milli for 10 raised to minus 3 micro for 10 raised to minus 6 nano for 10 raised to minus 9 and pico for 10 raised to minus 12 the symbols of these prefixes are also given in the table please do refer the table for working out the problems you can see many more prefixes which are added to the previous data to apply in various problems so let us define a few terms which are related to the measurement of lengths one is angstrom and one angstrom is equivalent to 10 raised to minus 10 meters next is one astronomical unit abbreviated as AU an astronomical unit is a unit of length and it is roughly the distance from earth to the sun and one astronomical unit is approximately equivalent to 150 million kilometer or approximately 8 light minutes. Next is light year. Understand that a light year is a unit of distance and not time. A light year is defined as the distance that light can travel in one year. As you are aware, light travels with a speed of 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second so in one year it will travel approximately about 10 trillion kilometer and one light year is equivalent to the value given in kilometers next unit of length is par second and one par second is defined as the distance at which an arc of one astronomical unit subtends an angle of one second the two lines above one is read as one second and it is the largest practical unit of distance used in astronomy. And one power second is approximately equivalent to 3.1 into 10 raised to 16 meter. As you can refer from the figure, you can see the distance between earth and the sun, which is one astronomical unit as we had defined earlier suppose if earth and the sun subtends an angle of 
वन सेकेंड एट ए पॉइंट ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑन सम अदर पॉइंट इन स्पेस देन द अप्रॉक्सीमेट डिस्टेंस ऑफ अर्थ और सन फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्वेशन पॉइंट कैन बी टर्म्ड एज पार सेकेंड from this picture you will get a better idea about par second and astronomical unit as you can see from the figure astronomical unit shows the separation distance between the earth and the sun and if the angle subtended by the earth and the sun at any point is one arc second then the distance of sun or the earth from the point of observation can be called as one par second in your textbook you can see a table which shows the size of object or distance in terms of its order that is if length is expressed in meter then the length will have the order of the values as shown in the table you can just refer the table in order to determine how big or how small an object is Hope you have understood about the range of lengths. Thank you, dears.